Hey friends, Claire here, and thank you so much for joining me. Now, if you are interested in a mattress encasement, then the next few minutes are especially for you. So go ahead and grab yourself a cup of coffee and join me as I take you through the mattress encasement by Bedbug Wholesale. Before we get to all of the fun stuff, I thought I would share with you what a mattress encasement is because if you're anything like I was a few weeks ago, I had absolutely no idea. A mattress encasement is designed to prevent absolutely everything from entering or exiting your mattress. This includes bed bugs, pet dander, scabies, allergens, and dust mites, which can cause problems all on their own. The waterproof range of encasements, as well as protecting you against all the allergens I just mentioned, also protect your mattress against grime and dirt and stains. Um, and it's a great hygiene and protection for your mattress. And they're really commonly used in commercial hotels, Airbnbs, hospitals, those sorts of things, because they're great as far as protecting hygiene. Many of our customers or their children, like mine, are dealing with dust mite allergies. Something I was shocked to find out about this week is how these encasements actually work. I thought that we were trying to protect ourselves from the physical dust mites that might have been biting us or getting into our nose and eyes somehow. I found it all really confusing. But what I've learned from the team at Bedbug Wholesale in this process is that it's not the physical dust mite that's a problem. It's the dust mite droppings, so gross, that sets off your allergy symptoms. Each of these thousands of dust mites that everyone has in their mattress, pillow, or quilt will leave behind 10 to 15 tiny droplings each day that are referred to as allergens. These little allergens are laced with chemical enzymes that come from dust mite stomach. I mean, it is so gross. <laughs> and it's the chemical enzymes in these tiny, tiny little particles that trigger our allergy symptoms when they enter our respiratory system. These encasements work like a filter. And this is why I wanted to use a certified product with a known pore size capable of filtering out these five to 20 micron particles and keeping them out of my respiratory system and that of the, my children. Just like the pillow and the quilt encasements I've already walked you through, these mattress encasements also come in two different fabric options. The first is 100% cotton, which uses an Akio Tex certified fabric. And the second is a 90 GSM knitted jersey fabric with TPU waterproof lining. Now, if you're not sure which option is best in your application, I've found some great information here online at the Bedbug Wholesale webpage. This does a great job of outlining all of the key differences in the two fabrics. So after doing some research and my own experimentation, I went to the instructions like I should have done in the first place. And they're actually super easy to follow. And once I figured it out, it was way easier to install the encasement. So the best way to do it is to grab some help from a partner, or in this case, I'm help getting help from my dad. And I've worked out that you just basically need to rest the mattress up against the wall. I found that sliding the mattress encasement over the top is the easiest way and once it's over the top of the mattress I was able to pull it down and zip it up part ways. I then rested the mattress back on the bed frame and zipped up the rest of the way. One thing that's worth noting is that you want to ensure there's no sharp edges on your bed or the bed frame um, or the slats um, because this could easily damage the encasement by dragging it over a sharp surface. I would also not recommend trying to pull one of these encasements on whilst the mattress is sitting on the bed and I I did this in my first instance before I went to the instructions and I felt like I was going to damage the material. Once your mattress encasement is on the bed, it is suggested that you put a slip on mattress protector over the top. And then this can be removed each week when you wash and dry your bed linen and decorative covers to keep it all nice and clean. The slip on mattress protector is going to protect your mattress encasement from getting dirty or stained and needing to come off and get washed. It will also pick up the weekly buildup of dust mites and allergens that can get washed out easily. There is a small investment of time when installing the mattress encasement, but in my books, it's well worth it for the protection that it provides. But however, I didn't want to have to do this weekly and because it would just add way too much time onto my already busy schedule. So I was delighted to find out that you really only need to wash the encasements every six to 12 months. And if they're not dirty, a little cleaning hack for you is that you don't actually even need to remove it from the 
mattress, you can just use a steamer and, and steam it yourself and it has the exact same effect as washing it, but with half the time, with a fraction of the time and only a fraction of the effort. These mattress encasements have plenty of sizes available, including cot, single, long single, king single, double, queen, king, and super king. So there is a size available for every mattress. Now, one observation I've made is that the cotton fabric, as it's woven like normal cotton, just doesn't have a huge amount of stretch, so just bear that in mind. The 25 centimeter cotton mattress shouldn't be fitted to anything taller than 26 centimeters high. If you do have a taller mattress, I would suggest using the larger option for anything up to 36 centimeters tall. The waterproof fabric is soft with a decent amount of stretch. I've put a 24 centimeter high encasement onto my 27 centimeter bed comfortably. I would suggest for anything over 27 centimeters that you step up to the 33 centimeter tall option. We have opted for a mixture of the cotton and waterproof encasements in our household. So I've chosen to have the waterproof encasements on my children's rooms and I have gone for the cotton in both our master as well as our spare bedroom. I actually slept on both and once you put your mattress protector and your sheets and everything, there is no difference as far as the, uh, the quality and the comfort goes. I am an absolute sucker for the OKOTEX OK cotton, which is why I've chosen them for our room. However, with three small kids under five, for the added protection and the more cost-effective price, it was a no-brainer as far as going for the waterproof ones for them.